All right, I want to uh, talk about the validation tool on the data menu uh, in OpenOffice. It's similar to Excel's validation tool. Well, it's the same thing. Well, uh, I did a video earlier uh, using this feature, but I'm going to do a similar one today, but it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, before, when we created a list, and let's see and say this file here this is a blank file and we want to have maybe a customer name as before and an address <clears throat> now what we want to do is create the list here as a drop down uh, just like we did in the earlier video in the first video the only difference is the in the last bit in the first video the addresses were located in the same uh, file but just on the second sheet and you can see we don't have anything on the second sheet or the third sheet uh, what I did is I created another file called address <clears throat> and I saved it in uh, on the C drive in my temp folder and what we want to do is access this list uh, so let's come over here and bring up our list and let's go to data and validity and so we'll come here to cell range just as before the only difference is when we type in the cell range we have to access that file and I've already created the uh, the formula for that so I'm gonna just copy and paste it in here alright so I'm just gonna paste it here and this is the uh, formula uh, notice I added this here this is what's different okay you have to add this to uh, access the file all right and I'm gonna just hit OK and you can see that it accesses the list <clears throat> all right now in the last one we clicked on one of these items in the list and it automatically popped the address in this cell and this cell so we're going to do the same thing the formulas are going to be a little different and I've already written them so I'm going to just copy and paste them in there alright and I'll just paste that formula in there and you can see there's the difference in this one is I added this part again Okay, to access the file and I also did it here All right. so let's come over here and <clears throat> and go to the next one alright so uh, now I've got both formulas copied and pasted uh, you can see that I had to access the files in each formula so it did make them a little bit longer but let's see how it works so if I come up here to name and I select let's say this one and it pops the address in there for me okay and I can come to this one or this one it doesn't matter and <coughs> when if you update the spreadsheet file uh, you need to make if you add more contacts or something you need to make sure you come in here and go down to whatever uh, row it tell whatever however many rows you have you need to change that and then also you can change it in the uh, formula you change this to whatever the last row is and also in this one you would change this to whatever row number and also let's see this one here Okay, uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, this is just a, a slightly different version than the first one. Uh, we actually access the list from another file, which can be done. Uh, I will have these. Uh, I will upload these files to my website. You can go there and print them out. Uh, my website's in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, thank you.